Podcast Chalk Talk. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Hagen. This is Andy. Andy, how are you? Good, how are you? All right. So, uh, today we're going to talk about training in the yard. For our audience, I know, like, I've got a yellow hat on. Watch out. Hagen doesn't know what he's doing. Yep. Uh, and then Andy's got a blue hat, which has kind of been around the block. Yep. Uh, but one of the keys on the blue hat, too, is a foreman is the training and the working you do, the work you do with our guys to teach them. Correct. Talk a little bit about some of your philosophy about training and, and in particular, you know, working with the fork trucks. So training for the fork trucks is hands-on. There's nothing else, you, you can't go practice somewhere else. You have to get used to handling our material. It's not like you're gonna throw a key to an ATV or something and right. then say, see that trail over there? Right. <laughs> So we, we stay with them um, for the first couple of days. Uh, we practice uh, blocking techniques uh, for our hollow core product. Yeah. We start with our hollow core. Yeah. And then like maybe like a year later, beams, columns, So for example, flaps. you've got a load of hollow core here going on, our, on, a, on a flatbed trailer. Correct. When you say blocking, what do you mean by blocking? Show us what... Uh... So blocking, um, we're looking for like 12 to 18 inches in. Okay. From the, from the end? From the end. You're coming here, and then you're coming in 12 to 18. Yeah, about 12 so inches. So you're going to be on the outside of this fork. Correct. And, and, and why is that distance important? Well, it's part of our PCI uh, procedures, 12 okay. to 18 inches. Um, if we block everything within that 12 to 18 inches, we'll keep the same camber throughout the job. Right, right, right. So we so won't have any pieces with high spots or low spots. Perfect. OK, I got you. So if we, if we keep it out towards the end, the weight of the slab will carry it will be carried by the pre-stressing. Right. If we come too far in, the weight of the slab is shortened, and then that thing wants to bend a little bit more. Yeah, it'll camber okay. a little bit more, which will give us a Y crack, which you know we can't use. This is a bridge. Correct. How do you train the guys with respect to bridges? What do you tell them? The bridges. Yeah. Uh, number one, they have a capacity. Okay. Um, this one's just shy of eighteen thousand pounds. Oh yeah, you can see it yep. up on the up on the rail. It says. 17, 9, 972, right. yeah, yeah. Um, so whatever I pick up with that bridge has to be below that amount. Okay. And then you also have to equate for the weight of the bridge. Gotcha, so you're doing some math. Right. Right. So you get a new person and they don't know, I mean, they're, they're maybe a little scared, right. a little uneasy. How do you get them comfortable and confident with what they're gonna be doing? So generally, like when we get a new hire, um, they usually spend some time up at the shuttle area. Okay. Uh, just to get used to seeing trailers moving around the lot, fork trucks moving around the lot. Um, so for our customers, you know, th they may not understand what we mean by shuttle area. All right, our wall panel area. Okay, that's so the the shuttle is the large crane, movable overhead crane system. We have a couple of those running around. Correct. They're picking those pieces up both horizontally and vertically. So you. So you got a crew of how many up there? Seven, maybe? Six, seven. Yeah, and, and they're handling all those wall pieces. So why the why is that wall area a good place to start? It's a little bit slower pace up there. Um, and plus they're elevated. They can sort of see the fork trucks and the trailers being moved throughout the lot. They get a general gist of what's going on throughout the day. Right. Um, it's hard to take a new hire and just throw them in a fork truck and yeah. try to teach them up to speed. We try to bring them along slowly. Well, look, look thanks. I appreciate your time on this. Um, there's a lot more to it, but uh, it, you know, coming to work here in Mid-States, you get to be with a guy like Andy who really cares about you and, and wants you to learn and, and do well. So uh, for all those guys out there thinking about working at a precast plant or maybe driving one of these big trucks, check us out online. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Appreciate it.